After the excruciating pain in the hospital toilet, I decided to be a pirate, but like all dreams, they just get flushed down the miserable porcelain toilet of despair and disharmony. While I'm trying to be bucking funny, you can just click clack the like button for more boredom. Yay for my useless existence. I hope you're very happy making my life really boring. As for you little twat head cloppers and R34 lovers, you can go buck yourselves to the bloody moon. We are already struggling with the society and you cloppers and R34 lovers are making it more difficult for us to live in it. Adding insult to your injured chinny chin chin, you might as well hurl yourselves to the bottomless pit of the ghastly gourd so that the nature can at least benefit from the years of sweetness and sugary death of diabetic proportions ponies are known to be made of. By the way, do you guys like my new bow tie? Gives me more 20% swag, does it not? No, it looks exactly like the first one. Fuck you. Moving on to the cakes yesterday, I wasn't even going to eat all of them when they suddenly burst out with life. They're like from a horrible nightmare come true in a B-horror movie with matching colorful sprinkles. They're not exactly stupid Daleks to begin with with only more stupid and stole my intergalactic imported screwdriver and used it against my frail marshmallow hollow candy cane bone body. But I got away and activated the security shield of that big blue box that I call home and don't ask me why to kill those demon cakes to going after my precious bums, which I thought I just survived their deadly reign of terror until one of them blasted me with my own screwdriver to the face, followed by unexplainable pain and misery. Next time, try to keep the hat handy driver with you at all times and make sure these cakes won't be coming for revenge on your sweet dang tooth. And I freaking love cupcakes.